doesn't it? Mm -hmm. Hi everyone, welcome to our Crazy Life Scotland and part three of our Holly vlog. We've just arrived at Flamingo Land. Jack's just the way to book us in and it's so exciting. It's the first time I've actually stayed on the caravan site in the park. So as soon as we're hitched up and caravans organised, we can go in and out the park as much as we want. So it's going to be great. Um, so yeah, we've been looking at all the rides on the way and I'll turn you around and let you see some. There's the, the swingy one up there. The girls were brave and went on that last year. I sure ain't because I get too dizzy on these rides. So if I put you over here, that there's the arrival lodge. That's where Jack's away to book us in. But the ride there that's closest to us with the big yellow legs, that's the new ride, I believe, that's being built. It was supposed to be open by now, which was one of the reasons we were coming here. But because of COVID, um, it's not going to be ready until next year now, unfortunately. But there's still lots of other great rides here, as well as the zoo. So we are really looking forward to it. So yeah, that's us. We're going to um, wait for Jack to come out, find our pitch, and then we'll go and find our way around the caravan site. And we'll take you with us and we'll go exploring. Yay! We all have a wristband. We have to keep this on to get in and out. Right, so we're just in our spot. Jack's just unhitching the caravan and there's right a swimming pool right pool. there. Yay! We're right next to the leisure complex. So I've just came into a disabled toilet. I'm not very impressed. It is not overly clean at all. Not nice. Mm. I'm not saying they're lax with their cleaning or anything, but I think that spider's probably been here since the start of the COVID outbreak. Eww. I mean, really, they've had all the closed time to clean, and it's absolutely filthy. There's a massive gap at the top of the door and everything. Eww. Right, so. Jack's putting the on and up. We're going to go and investigate the leisure centre. Going to see if we can get the girls booked in swimming this afternoon. Right, so the swimming pool is fully booked for today, but we're booked in for tomorrow at 12 o'clock. It's an hour session that you get. It's got a little cafe with amusements, but the cafe is takeaway only just now because of COVID and the amusements are shut. I'm not allowed to take video of, or photos of the pool because of child protection. Um, but yeah, it looks like it's normally an excellent facility but a lot of it's closed off just now unfortunately there's a thing in the supermarket Brooke and I have came for a wee wander there's mumbo jumbo we just missed it so we're going to go into the supermarket and see what there is oh it's a cost cutter it's 25 to 5 I've been chilling out in the caravan trying to catch up with some YouTube and a couple of comments and um, basically just chilling out I'm absolutely exhausted to be honest i'm really struggling um but thankfully now that we're in flamingo land jack can take the girls in when i'm uh, needing a rest and then when i've got some energy i can take the girls in it doesn't cost us anything to go in and out the park as much as we want so that is really really good so they've been in the park for a couple hours this afternoon and they're just phoned, they're on their way back, they've got pizza and fries and things, so that's dinner sorted, at least I don't need to cook dinner, which is good. Um, the puppies are here with me, chilling out, and I'm sure I'll hear all about it when they come back and see what rides have been on and things. The weather's not been great, it's been really, really windy, um, and it's been raining on and off today, but the rain had went off long enough for them to decide they wanted to go, so that was good. So I just wanted to come on and update you. I think tonight we might have a wee game of Trivial Pursuit or something. Um, I don't think there's any evening entertainment on here, unfortunately, but um, at least we're here. You know, we didn't think, a couple of weeks ago, we didn't think we were going to be able to get here. So we are just counting our blessings that we're able to get here and we're enjoying it. So I'm going to go feed the dogs and then have my own dinner and I'll catch up with you either later tonight or tomorrow. Good morning, everyone. It is Wednesday morning and it's about, what time did I say, girls? About quarter to nine. We're having a lazy morning. I got up quite early and went and had a shower, which was a disaster because I was so organised. And then when I got there and had the shower on, stripped off, ready to go in, I realised that I had forgot to take my shampoo and body wash. So there was no chance I was getting dressed again to come back to the caravan and Jack and the girls were still in bed. So I decided to make the most of it and had a shower using hand soap. 
so I've washed my hair and my body with hand soap and it's the dispenser that they, they've got that's the foam stuff so I was there for like five minutes pumping the foam that just dissolved into nothing but it's still not a bad job of washing my hair so that's fine <laughs> the girls are still in their bed at the moment and they're going swimming at 12 o'clock they've decided they want a lazy morning we're not going to go into the park until after they've been swimming it's an hour long session so they'll come out there at one o'clock then go and have the shower because of covid they've not got the lockers or the showers up and running in the swimming pool so when they come out of the pool they'll just put the towel around them and go to the showers and um get the shower and then after that we will go into the park for a few hours so last night we chilled out we had pizza and chips and things from the park which was actually very nice but huge wasn't it girls yeah they got the girls and Jack all got a pizza each and there's no way anybody could finish it. Even Jack couldn't finish his. I just had fries because I'd had them um, forgetting and things oh, at lunchtime. Oh, oh. <laughs> Willa's... Wait till I turn you around. Willa is making her way onto Abby's bed. Look at her. <laughs> uh, it's because there's food. Have you got food in your ducat? Yes. Ah, <laughs> that's what that was all about, Missies. <laughs> so it was nice and chilled out. The good thing about being here in flamingo land and having the bands and being able to go in and out of the park as often as we want is we can relax when we want it's not like oh we're only here for a day we need to make the most of it we're here until sunday morning so we've got plenty of time to go in and out of the park as we want um and it's just good to have a relaxing time on holiday as well as being busy busy Right, so I'm going to head just now and I will catch up with you later on. Thank you for a little maintenance. I've got a flat tyre on the fly. <laughs> oh, I'm getting higher. I'm getting higher. <laughs> oh, listen to that. Cliffhanger, that's it there. It's one of the things that scoops right up and then drops you right down again. There it is. Listen to them screaming, it's a great ride. So Jack and I are just going ahead to the reception bit to see if we can book the, what's it called? Animal Walk on the Wild side for Jack and the girls. It's basically after hours, the zookeepers take you around the zoo and let you go behind the scenes in some of them um, and let you get close up and personal with some of them. So the girls would absolutely love that, but the behind the scenes bit aren't. Uh, wheelchair friendly so it will be Jack that's taking them so hopefully it's running we're not sure if it will be because of Covid but we're going to go and find out anyway so that's where we're heading off to now so we're back um, the walk on the wild side isn't running just now which is a shame the girls would love that but never mind in fact a lot of the things are shut just now it's a good job that we're here last year and know what it's like when it's fully open because just now if this was my first impression i'd be like oh i'm not very impressed um but we're giving them the benefit of the doubt because of covid right is that you're ready to go swimming yeah. yes excellent have you got shoes on no nope. no nope. well you need to get shoes oh, on girls, how was it good good what was your favorite bit Probably the slide. The slide? Yeah, so you said there was waves mm -hmm. and a jacuzzi. Yeah. And slides. Excellent. And there is a hoist, so we're booked in at nine o'clock on Saturday morning. Oh, good. Oh, joy. <laughs> good. I'll get in for a little swim about. That'll be good fun. Oh, the puppies have been very good, haven't you? They've been good puppies lying sleeping with mum. Yes. And I've been doing my colouring in <laughs> uh, it's quarter past two we're heading into the park for the first time today aren't we yep going to get a couple of hours in the park so we'll take you with us so you have to like breathe that reception shut mum it's going up oh there's mumbo jumbo it really took you up there there's mumbo jumbo at the top love mumbo jumbo yeah. it's a great one you ready Woo! for the bed whoa <laughs> fab, it's a fab ride. So this is us going into the park from the camping area. Got the little balloons there, they were on earlier, they're shut now. It's a Holiday Homes sales office which is also shut. And this down here is where the evening entertainment usually is. That's the big stage there and it's undercover. It's got a big screen on it. There's chairs that you can sit out at 
watch the entertainment so that would be great when we've got the dogs we could sit here there's that's also the gourmet grill is also a bar as well and restaurant that you can normally sit in but i think it's takeaway only at the moment there's the pizza pie shop down there which is also shut at the moment um so yeah you can normally sit out here watch the entertainment but there's none on at the moment there's the fountains usually there's and a there's waterfall. cliffhanger the big ride go and shove her in go on no i'm kidding i'm kidding the is <laughs> shut the, the arcades are shut the hookah duck's shut all these things are open in Blackpool and Alton Towers. I don't understand why they're money. It could just be money, but they're making money from places like that. That seems to be shot the Formula One. Oh, there's Hero. That's the one that I don't like because you have to lie on it. I don't like that at all. Here it comes. You actually lean forward on it and then it tips. So, oh, so it's like a whole body thing. It's not like Air or Galactica where you sit on the seat then it tips forward. So it puts you like that and then that's how you are all the way around it. And it's very sore on the boobage and the belly. Definitely not for the bigger women. <laughs> Oh, that's open, the fish and chips, yeah. upper deck. That's a wee kiddie ride that's only open from 10 till 2 every day. Maybe it's the same with the balloons. Yeah. It's not the same for that, is it? Because yous were on that last year. Yeah, maybe it's just shortages. Yeah, look, closed. So there's another, I take it all the kiddie yeah. rides are closed. Oh, there's the motorbike one. Woo! Navigator's only open 10 till 2, so the ice cream place is open. Right, we're going to go up to see how busy it is at the pirate ship where the pirate show's on at 3 o'clock because we want to watch that again. We enjoyed that last I year. I want to see the Andromans. Yeah, so that's Velocity, that's the motorbike one that you just saw. The girls will be going on that again, I'm sure. There's the new ride. Do we know what it's called yet? No. Not yet. But look, we count even as 10 inversions. 10 inversions, so look, wow. There's one, there's one just as you go into the station. Uh, oh yeah, so you do, wow. Straight into the brakes. And that's more amusements that are shut. I'm so glad that I was here last year because I would have a very bad first impression if, I, if this was my first time here. More amusements that are shut. So we're just waiting for the pirate show to start. It'll be starting in 15 minutes. There's the big pirate ship that they do it on. Where's that lady snowing so black here? Anyway? Oh, sorry, down there. Uh, typical. show which was a different story from last year oh, I'm not putting the camera down so I'm a vlogger he's and I'm so proud of it he's so fit, fit. <laughs> there he's there there he's there it's okay I'm just I'm pretending that I'm talking to the camera oh, there, no, oh, there he's 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 there
now going to see if Shambhala's open. We're going Shambhala. to go and have a ride. Is it not Shambhala. Shambhala. That's the Port of Ventura. Is that, that's the Port of Ventura. <laughs> What's this called? Kamali. Oh, nice doggy. Oh, I do oh, love the fact that you're allowed dogs in the park. Wait, I love this play area. This will be good on Friday. Because it's yes. to be roasting on Friday. Don't push me in. No, you did it in Blackpool. You're not doing it now. <laughs> There's flip flop. That's ride not operational this year. That's a shame. That's quite a big ride. Go we'll see. Come on, lie. Come on, lie. This ride is open from two till five every day. It's Kamali, so it's same idea as Nemesis. You sit underneath the track. It's an inverted. It's an inverted poster. Yeah, that was really good. Did enjoy it. I have to say, they're not doing much socially distance wise here, are they? No. You don't need to wear masks on the rides. They're, they're not leaving carriages out and things like that. There are footprints to step on the lines, but no one's Yeah, pushing. but no one's really bothering. There's hand sanitizer as well, but again, no one's really bothering about it. But hey ho. So we're going to go to Mumble Jumbo now because I've not been on that yet this year. The girls were on it yesterday. Uh, but that's where we're heading now. Yay! Oh, I forgot how fun that ride is. It hurts your shoulders though. It's because of those shades. Yeah, the right shades are funny. Yeah, they're weird. But it's, it's not like the normal safe. one. Yeah, it's very safe, but it does hurt. Great. Did you enjoy it? Yeah. Yeah. Does it hurt you as well? Yeah. Yeah, it's quite sore, isn't it? Yeah. What next are you going on velocity? Yeah, yeah, and then we'll go back to the cool. house. Cool. Yeah, good, good plan. plan. Good plan. Yeah, so cliffhangers only open 10 till 2 as well. They must be sharing staff. Yeah, they are. Yeah. Here they come. Let's see what they thought. I what did you it. think? It was good. Yeah? Were you not scared not having dad next to you? No. No? I thought of the countdown. Ah, cool. Oh, there it goes. Morning, welcome to a very wet Thursday as you can see. It's been really wet this morning, hasn't it Willa? So we've basically chilled out again this morning. It's back at 10 now, it's maybe about half past 10. It had died down to a bit of a drizzle so Jack and the girls went away to go to the zoo part of Flamingo Land and they're going to see the sea lion show because Jack didn't get to see that last year and I did and the girls did. We absolutely loved it. I'll hopefully get to go tomorrow. So I'm here with the puppies and then later on I think we're going to have some lunch and then we're all going to go, including the dogs, into Flamingo Land to watch the pirate show again, aren't we Big Bear? And then Jack will bring the dogs back and we will have some fun on the rides. It's meant to dry up this afternoon, hopefully. Fingers crossed. Look at Clyde nibbling Willa. <laughs> Why are you nibbling Willa's ear? And Willa's just standing there letting you. It's 10 to 2, the rain is off at last and we've had lunch so me and the girls are heading back into the park. The girls and Jack had a great time at the zoo earlier. Um, the girls got to meet Marvin again and got their photo taken with them, the sea lion. So I will, um, Jack filmed it so I will put footage of that in here now. <laughs> Um, yeah, they walked through, the, the lemur walked through and the lemurs were licking their ankles and chewing their feet and things. Yeah. It's very tickly when you lick your skin as well. Yeah, it was. You'll like... notice the hat. It was slightly <laughs> rough on like a cat. It's biting the shirt. Oh, and uh, they were going to about the wind tails. See the one on the ground there? Yeah. Bad. Bad. Can't take those dogs anywhere. Rana. Hello puppies! Hello! Hi, puppy. Oh, look at Molly! Look at Molly! Oh, they're being good puppies! Oh, they're being good puppies! He's a good boy! Hey, <laughs> Willa! Oh, he's my boy!
was such a wuss. Clyde didn't like the show, so we had to leave. Clyde is the softest boy ever. It is 10 to 4, as you can see, the sun is shining now, I can't see anything. We finished in the park, we had to leave the show early because Clyde was terrified of the bangs. Um, he's not good with bangs, the poor thing was shaking, so we left early. Um, the girls had a ride on Vortex and we've just went into the shop to get a drink. We're going to jump in the van and head into Scarborough and see what's going on along there. See if we can get something there for dinner. So we'll take you with us. dog's last walk and Molly's having fun playing fetch with a stick. <laughs> Brooke's got two wee friends. Good girl Molly. What a difference a day makes. <laughs> Quarter to eight in the morning, it's 18 degrees, blue skies and it's to get up to highs of 28 today. Yay. I think. <laughs> We're going to absolutely roast in here. Yeah, nice to see a blue sky instead of rain. Good morning everybody. It is Thursday. Friday. Friday. Is it Friday today? Friday. It's Friday morning and it's a glorious day, isn't it Brooke? Get your hairbrush please and your face washed. We are getting organised, hopefully, to go to the park because it's nearly 10 o'clock. What time is it actually? 10 o'clock. It's 10 o'clock exactly. <laughs> the park is open and these lazy bums are still messing about. I've been up since quarter to seven. So the plan for today is we are heading to the rides this morning and then we're going to come back and get my fly and we're going to do the zoo this afternoon. So this is the kiddie area. There's the swings that the girls are about to go on. <laughs> what, we got past the dinosaurs? Well, we'll do yeah. this. Oh, I remember her at the maze last year. That was so sad. What happened? I looked at the pole. You looked at the pole. Did no. that make you dizzy? No, it just made me scared. Oh. Because I'm not dizzy. Ah. We saw all I think you are dizzy. We saw all the zoo. <laughs> Did you see all the zoo? Oh, excellent. It's such a shame that Splash Bath wasn't open. This is a perfect day for it. That's when the, the boats go around and you keep soaking each other. That's quite sad. Oh, that's a nice cool breeze. Hello, so, the girls have got their swimsuits on, we're going back to the park. They're going to have a run round the wee fountainy bits and then we're going to go to the zoo. <laughs> so that's normally off. the flumes. I'm trying to dry off. You're trying to dry off. But there's not even any water running down them, so no. I don't know the last time that was on. It was broken down the last time we were here last year. No. I take it they've just abandoned just it now. Bird. So this is us heading into the zoo now. <laughs> Hello camels! Where's Brooke? <laughs> don't see the sea lions. Yay! Oh! Now <laughs> 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 you guys have had a greeting off Marvin. We'll see if I get a greeting as well. Marvin, do I get a flipper share? Pleased to meet you. Oh, and a lovely big kiss as well. Encouragement. <laughs> but I don't have to go with him anymore. All I have to do to get him to go to the tower is point to him. And he goes all the way up the stairs, okay? Up he goes. Up to the top. So those of you stood directly beneath him, he's gonna land in the water, you could get wet. I'm sure you don't mind, it's a lovely hot day for getting wet. Three, Three two, two, one! one. Yay! Fantastic demonstration there. Three, two, one! 
one. It is three o'clock, we're at the caravan, we're exhausted, we're roasting, it's 30 degrees and not a cloud in the sky, which is glorious but it's very hot and I'm sunburnt again. Even I'm burning. Look I, at me. And even I'm burning, I usually tan. Yeah, Brooke normally tans but even she's burning, never mind. It's uh, the Scottish skin, it's not used to the sunshine. <laughs> so we've just came back to the caravan and Jack's away out with the dog so we can't get in, but he's on his way back so he won't be long. And I think later on we might go along to where they normally have the evening entertainment because there should be a bar open and we can still sit outside with the dogs and maybe have a wee half pint of cider or something. That sounds like a plan. Not for Brooke obviously, or Abby. Like she's sitting there like a JK at a festival. <laughs> so it's it's like there might be live entertainment on. We're round at the outside bar. Just there's Molly on Abby's knee. Oh, look at you. Oh, there's a big bear. Oh, there's Clyde and Willa's over there. And this is really good. You just scan and then place your order online and they bring it out to you. Brother, leave Molly's ears. <laughs> date on Saturday the 1st of August. Happy August everyone! And Jack and I are just out with the puppies. It's a glorious morning after the thunderstorm last night and uh, the girls are still in their bed sound asleep of course. I'm taking the girls swimming at nine o'clock this morning and uh, so I thought I would just come out with Jack just now with the puppies. Look at the scent hound in action. Where are they? <laughs> She's been sniffing round and round in circles. Now's per person. Great oh, time. 
hold a bit wine and barrel can help prevent them. Good morning. It is now quarter past 11. Me and the girls were away swimming this morning and then I've been and had my shower. I'm now in the caravan with the puppies while Jack and the girls are away into the park. So I thought we'd come on and have a little chat with you. Come on big girl, good girl. As you can see the blinds are down because the dogs go nuts at everything that moves when Jack's not here. So look at my sunburn. We did have sun cream on but I still got very burnt yesterday. It was 30 degrees and not a cloud in the sky and then there was a massive thunderstorm at night which was hilarious when we were at the entertainment. Um, we went round, we didn't know there was entertainment on because the website still doesn't say that it is. Um, but we had went round to sit outside in the sunshine and have a little cider and just basically chill out. So we went round about four o'clock and then we discovered that there was entertainment on starting at seven. And we thought, well, we're not going to come back to the caravan because we would lose our table. We had a good table in the shade in front of the stage. So I took Brooke round the park for a wee while. She had got another couple of rides and then the amusement arcade in the actual bar that was selling the drinks was open so the girls had a wee shot in there um and you ordered all your drinks from the table there was a scan a qr code that you scanned and basically put in your table number your order you paid by card and they brought the drinks out which was fab we got pizza and things again from the same place as last time and again you just phone the number and then they bring it out to you so that side of it was really good the bar itself you could go into but you couldn't order at the bar you you had to just sit at the tables and there was sanitizer when you went in but there was no enforcement of masks there's not been any enforcement the only place in this whole caravan site park theme park that you need to wear a mask is the supermarket nowhere else i've never seen anybody wearing a mask We've been wearing masks where we felt it was appropriate um, just for our own protection, but generally nobody's caring, nobody's social distancing. It's a bit of a nightmare, to be honest. And we did see on the Facebook page today, I think it was the Scottish Government Facebook page, or someone had shared it from their page, saying, could people of Scotland please avoid travelling to certain areas of the north of England, including West Yorkshire and can't remember where else but it's basically where we are and <laughs> I was like whoops um so hopefully everything's going to be okay there but yeah the to be honest Flamingoland this year is a bit of a letdown um I've mentioned a few times during this vlog they've only got half the rides open at a time half of them are open 10 till 2 and the other half are open 2 till 5 and it seems to be because they've not got enough staff to be able to have it all open full time. All of the arcades, apart from the one that was in the bar, are closed. Um, most of the eating places are closed. It just looks really run down. And the actual caravan park is very, very run down. It's very tired, shall we say. Um, they needn't have put a good bit of money into it. I don't know what the actual holiday home bits are like, like there's, there's static caravan type homes and there's chalets, things like that, that you can actually buy. Whether or not they're putting more money into them, I don't know. However, the leisure centre here, which is like the swimming pool that we were at today in the gym, is also, it's the only one for the whole site. I mean, the site is huge. It's the only one for the whole site and that is very tired looking as well. The swimming pool was really, area was really quite dirty. There was like bits of rubble and grout and things all around the, po the pool area. Um, the, I need to swap hands. Ouch. They've closed off the showers and things for social distancing and some of the lockers. But they've basically just put silver tape all over it all and it just looks dirty. It just doesn't look nice. The toilet blocks aren't nice, the showers. That spider that I showed you on my first day here in the disabled toilet is still there. They're just not cleaning it properly. They're not putting the, the time and energy or money into it. Um, I had my shower today after the swimming. The showers in the actual swimming pool are closed for social distancing. Um, but you can still use the showers on the site. So you basically just take a towel in with you and then you have your shower on site afterwards. So that's what I did and the shower that I went into, one thing worse than having 
communal shower seats that you basically, you know that your bare bum is sitting on that shower seat that someone else's bare bum has just been on is when they haven't bothered, like, lifting the shower seat after themselves. So when I went in, the shower seat had a puddle of someone else's dirty shower water on it. Oh, that gave me the book. So I basically cleaned it as much as I could. And then when I had finished with it, I gave it a clean and put, pushed it up. On, against the wall to make sure that all the water sort of ran off but one thing worse than that is having a blocked shower drain so that the water was going everywhere I'll put in a little clip that I took when I was finished my shower watch this okay so the drain in the shower room is clearly blocked which has resulted in everything in here getting absolutely soaked including my shoes which I've now lifted but the water was actually running out of the door. <laughs> yeah, I think they're needing to maintain their uh, toilets and shower blocks a little bit better. Gross. So, yeah, it wasn't nice at all. And when I came out of there, there was a lady on a mobility scooter waiting to go in. And I politely said to her, look, I don't know if you should. I said, the shower drain is blocked. You could actually see my shower water running right down the ramp outside the door. I said, that's my water. I said, because everywhere was flooded. Thankfully, I didn't have my clothes or towel or anything on the floor, but my shoes were, so they got soaked. Um, just wee things like that. You think, come on, put a little bit of energy into it. The other very disappointing thing is the caravan park part of it is overrun by trying to think of the politically correct term, travellers, gypsies. They referred to themselves as gypsies when they were basically having a go at Brooke. Um, Brooke was out playing on her scooter. She came in all scratched. And so Abby went out to find out what was going on because Brooke had said that they weren't letting her pass. They were cornering her, weren't letting her pass. So Abby went out to see what was going on. And they basically said to her, we're gypsies, we run this park, and what we say goes. And yeah, we have since discovered that there's quite a few families like that here. Whether they're paying for it or not, we don't know, because you never know the situation with these people. And I'm not meaning to offend anybody. I know in this world of politically correctness, we're not supposed to talk like this, but I'm just, I'm honest. I'm giving you my own opinion. And... It has spoiled it for us because when I went out to make sure everything was okay, this wee girl, no the height of nonsense, maybe about five years old, came right up into my face and laughed at me because I was on my mobility scooter. Well, did she not get the fright of her life when I chased her on it? She really did. She actually hid behind her big sister because she wasn't expecting anybody to stand up to her. They're clearly used to people backing down from them. But sorry, no, I'm not going to back down from you especially when you're being that ignorant. Um, they have backed off a bit since, but the whole park is just full of it and you can see them looking at you and it does put you on edge. It really does. And last night the noise was unbelievable. Um, one o'clock in the morning they were still running about, screaming, laughing, drinking. The kids were still running about screaming and you think... Okay, it's family entertainment, it's family fun, but you need to be considerate to other people as well. When we first came, I thought I was turning into a caravan club site snob because the sites that we were at in Blackpool Norton Towers were caravan club sites, they're nice and quiet. Yeah, there's kids there, but everybody's well behaved and respectful and the toilets were immaculate, everything was masks and like really being careful and then we came here and I was like oh my god <laughs> when I first went into that disabled toilet saw how dirty it was I was like oh and then I thought oh, you're just turning into a caravan club site snob but no I've realised the problem is bigger than that Um, we were wanting to come back next year because there's going to be the new ride built but that's kind of put us off a bit to be honest so we're not sure we'll wait and see if we do come back, we might come when it's quieter, like when the Scottish schools are off, but before the English schools are off, and see if that maybe makes a difference. Um, and come through the week rather than the weekend, because yesterday was Friday and last night. Yesterday morning, the site pretty much emptied, but then by the afternoon, it was mobbed again, people coming for the weekend, and whether or not it was the weekenders that have caused the noise and the problem, I don't know. But 
we've had an absolutely fantastic time don't get me wrong but there have been downsides of it and i think the fact now that that was that's this is our ninth day being away we are kind of ready to get home you know when you're living in a caravan two adults an 11 year old an almost 16 year old and four dogs it does get a bit weird after a while so we're definitely ready to go home tomorrow but we're making the most of our last day today anyway it was meant to be raining but so far it's a nice day so hopefully they'll have a nice day in the park i think there's more entertainment on again tonight so we'll go through and see what that's like but if last night's is anything to go by <gasps> the first guy was okay to be fair he had an okay voice it was just a cabaret singer which is what these places are so don't have a problem with that i love cabaret singers i used to go to live music and pubs all the time when i was younger i used to love it i used to go to karaoke i just loved it so i'm used to that sort of thing one thing that does annoy me is when they don't know the words and they just make them up because i know the most the words to a lot of these songs and it annoys me when to get them wrong <laughs> i mean even in the sound check they were getting them wrong and forgetting them you'd think they would go away and maybe study them a wee bit before you know when they actually come out for their performance i know it's their first time after months but come on um so the first guy was okay the second guy oh if i didn't look at him i was okay because he didn't have the best voice but he was passable but when you looked at him he was putting his heart and soul into it but he was one of these that loved himself and he was singing and he was giving it this and i was like oh my god i actually had my hand in my mouth trying not to laugh because we were quite near the front i didn't want to offend the guy but come on mate <laughs> he was quite bad he was really bad and it was hilarious because everybody was out in the sunshine enjoying the sunshine but we knew that the forecast was for rain and thunder later on so and plus we wanted in the shade because i was burnt enough um so we were in the shade and it was hilarious we were thinking about coming away earlier and jack was like no i want to see what they all do when it starts raining so of course then the lightning started then the rain started and it was a mass exodus from the outside in the sunshine into the undercover bit they were all picking up their tables and their chairs and bringing them all in and we're like so much for social distancing clearly there's no social distancing when it's raining let's just all squeeze in as much as we can it was hilarious but yeah we did leave not long after that so it'll be interesting to see what it's like tonight might go along we'll right, see. So it's quarter to six we are just heading back into the park now to get something to eat we might hang about for the entertainment we'll wait and see we've packed up pretty much all of the caravan so that we can get an early start in the morning we want to get up the road at a decent time anyway we're going to head along just now get something to eat there's the puppies in the background and we will see you later on Good morning, it is 10 to 11 and we are in Scotland again, yay! We have just stopped at Gretna Services and got a Burger King and stretched the legs and walked the dogs and all the rest of it. We left Flamingo Land about 7 o'clock this morning so we've done not too bad. We've still got a couple hours until we're home but it means that we can get home, get stuff from the shop and be relaxed for the football starting this afternoon. Talking of football, when we went along to the bar area last night we were lucky to get a table. We didn't realise, it. was it the FA Cup, Abby? Yeah, final. Uh, the FA Cup final was on between Aston Villa and Chelsea uh, and Arsenal and, uh, Chelsea. Arsenal and Chelsea, Chelsea Aston Villa oh, um, and as it turns out Kieran Tierney was playing for Arsenal so Abby was more than happy to sit and watch it because she's still not forgiven him for leaving Celtic no, yes I have because I fancy him I'm ok she has because she fancies him but she enjoyed watching him anyway um, so yeah it was quite good we sat and watched the football and when the entertainment came on we left because it was bad again it was bad um we saw the lady who was going to be coming on second we saw her warming up and she wasn't up to much and the first guy that came on was a motown guy and i do quite like motown songs but he wasn't really up to that much so we decided we wanted an early night anyway because we knew we were getting up early this morning so we went back to the van and of course we didn't get a very early night because the racket in the site was unbelievable. At one point we got a real fright because 
it sounded like there was a couple of families squaring up to each other and I think one of the gypsy families was involved and that never ends well and I heard one of the kids screaming he's got a gun and thought oh no oh no please no um, but then someone else came out and said so have I and that was it it went quiet so what actually went down I don't know but as far as we're aware there was no ambulance there was no banging there was nothing major um, there was an air ambulance a couple of nights ago wasn't there Abby? Yeah. or oh, the Friday night it was the first night of the entertainment there was an air ambulance landed um, but we're not sure what happened I hope everybody was okay but yeah that was our exciting night last night and they were still going on in the early hours of this morning again I don't think we'll be going back to the Flamingoland caravan site next year not unless they've made some major improvements it was really dirty there was a lot of travelling families there it was very rowdy and just not our cup of tea at all we would like to go back to do the new ride but we might just go in for a day rather than actually staying there again we will wait and see but anyway in general we've had a fantastic holiday we're so glad that you came along with us and we hope you've enjoyed watching what we got up to and i'm going to sign off now and we will see you in our next video so thanks for watching bye